Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, you know, <laughs> misery loves company. So thank you guys for being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Because without you guys, I'd be crying by myself, and it's better to cry with everybody else. You know I'm a collector. You know I'm a collector. I love getting unique stuff. Although I, I just finished my collection, you know, I started it early this season. I originally started it with the New York Giants actually last year. New collection, a, 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 a perfect piece last year for the New York Giants. Then I got one for the Washington football team and one for the Philadelphia Eagles. And now I finally finished off my NFC least collection. Yeah, we now have a full set of dumpsters for the NFC East. So bringing you up to news, because we talking about practice, not a game, not a game now. We talking about practice. Cowboys back on the field today. Uh, we found out our punter, my, uh, you know, our punter Jones is out and Jones had been kind of a disappointment. So. Maybe that's not the worst thing that could happen there. You know, maybe we'll get somebody out there who's doing a little bit better. Who knows? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But we also have a couple of guys that are limited that are actually key for the season. Zeke Elliott, his hamstring is tight, and he's limited in practice. You know, hamstring is one of those things that linger. You know, once you pull a hamstring, you know, it only takes one cut to completely pull it. OK, um, and you don't want that to happen. So we're going into a game with deciding between two quarterbacks that I think have a total of nine passes in the NFL and a journeyman, Garrett Gilbert and Cooper Rush. And Zeke Elliott has a strained hamstring. Okay, okay. And Alden Smith, one of the few bright spot free agent signings of the Dallas Cowboys, a guy that the Seattle Seahawks wanted to make a trade for. The Seahawks wanted to trade for him, but we didn't make that trade and he's got knee issues. So he was limited in practice as well. So we were excited at first that we actually had, you know, everybody at practice, but we find out we have some guys that are a little, little nicked up. Two of the key guys on the team that are nicked up. So there's that. Now, this is the other worry, of course. Um, what's interesting or scary, or I, I don't know how you want to put it, but Matthew Stafford is now for the second time on the COVID list. Now, the first time was a false positive. He didn't actually have COVID, but he has tested positive for COVID. I'm sorry. This, this season has literally bored me and put me to sleep. Um, this is the second time that Matthew Stafford's been put on the list. Um, so we'll find out if it was a false positive or not. And we know Andy Dalton has been put on the COVID list. And we're getting to the point where now you have to start worrying because as they kind of said that as we get later in the year, as we start having everybody come indoors, as we uh, start having that colder weather, that the numbers will increase and um, it'll get worse. The question will be is how much worse will it get for the NFL? You know, the first couple of weeks of the season was great. We didn't have anybody testing positive. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting sporadic popping up. You know, it, it seems like a little bit more each week. And the question will be, you know, where will we be three weeks from now? We'll be having, you know, more and more uh, cases of COVID. And will that actually, you know, will they be able to compete for the season? I think we know more now about COVID than we did, say, last year when the NBA season was shut down. And... Um, to be honest with you, um, the NFL has actually done really, really well in, you know, testing and keeping up with it. 
um, to the point. The only thing I wonder is we hear got guys that test positive and they're on the list and things like that. If anybody's actually gotten full blown COVID and if they have their ability coming back, are they being rushed back? Are they having issues with lung capacity and things like that? Um, you don't know, and we're not, it's not being reported, but we, we wonder if that's the case or not. Um, hopefully, you know, again, it's just the first practice of the week, um, for Zeke and Alden Smith, at least they were limited and not out. So that that's the good news, at least on there. And we'll see what happens, but this is, um, it's going to be a tough game. This is going to be a really tough game for us to watch. I'm going to be, hey, listen. I'm going to watch every game because I'd rather watch my team lose than not to be able to watch football at all. And it sucks. God, it sucks. I mean, we are literally, I would say 2015 bad, but, you know, at least we had an offensive line that was still blocking well. We had Darren McFadden, who was at least, you know, running and getting a thousand yards. We at least, were, were somewhat competing, but, uh, you know, we were thinking, okay, maybe we'll get Tony Romo back and we still got a chance to make the playoffs. And he got hurt again. This is more like 1989 where we just, we're bad from every phase, defense, offense, coaching, special teams, uh, ownership. It ain't nobody in the stands. Well, it's because of COVID, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know, man. Well, I hope Zeke and Alden Smith get themselves together and are able to play this weekend. And maybe, ah, boy, I, I don't know what. To, ah. My buddy Richard, diehard Steelers fan, you know, <clears throat> we had talked about last year going to Dallas for this game because big Steelers fan, I'm a Cowboy fan. You know, he's one of the reasons why Joe Boo is here is because of Richard. And um, we were planning on going to the Hall of Fame game because it's supposed to be Steelers and Cowboys. And um, COVID just messed this whole thing up and messed up this whole season. I'm sure he would have loved to have gone to Dallas to see the slaughtering of the Cowboys and enjoy the stadium, but, you know, Coven is a mother humper. Oh, well. It is what it is. You're up to date with all that is the Dallas Cowboys. Peace.